what is up guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, this week's video is going to be the long awaited, well, not really long awaited since nobody really watches this channel but me. Anyways, the long awaited 2020 room tour video. As you guys know, I've moved back home from my college dorm room and so I'm not able to do a dorm tour video. Maybe next semester in my new dorm. We'll see. But I said if I can't do a dorm tour video, why not do a room tour video? I know I am so incredibly smart. Get into it. <laughs> I know you guys have probably seen a million of these videos, so I'm not going to take the time to explain it to you. But before we get on to the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what videos you want to see next. Turn on post notifications so that you do see whenever I do post. And follow me on social media. Links will be in the description box down below. I think that's it for now, guys. So let's just get on to the video. Okay, so here is the overview of the room when you first walk in. I'm just gonna start with the desk. So the desk is from Ikea. So it was the desk chair. It was about maybe 115 and then the chair was like 50. The only problem I have with it is that this drawer right here doesn't really open or close well. So I just keep that closed and I don't put anything in it. But below that is where I just keep some like office supplies and art supplies because you know, I didn't have anywhere else to put them. I try to keep the top of the desk pretty clear, so over here I just have an acting trophy from high school, um, some dry erase markers for my calendar, and some spare change, and then a bag of trail mix, <laughs> and my glasses that I need to go get fixed, but for now they just stay there. I also keep a coaster on here so that when I have drinks the condensation doesn't um, get on the desk and stain it. Over here I just keep my MacBook and then my lamp. And then the last thing for my desk is just my printer and my pencil case. And that's about it. Over here in this corner I just keep my tripod and some studio lights. I don't have enough space in my room or in my closet to store these. On this wall I just have three paintings. Yes, your boy is an artiste. Just call me Joshua Picasso. Anyways, that was lame. <laughs> I wanted to paint things that meant a lot to me. Well, the Scorpio symbol is just because I'm a Scorpio. But I have the music symbol and then the comedy and tragedy masks to convey my love for acting and music. And down here, I just have this basic side table. On top of here, I just have my phone, wallet, some gum, some sunglasses, my Alexa. Um, and then this is a diffuser, and then those are the oils that I use. The diffuser is pretty cool because it changes colors, as you can see, but it was like $30, so... You know, if you want to pay that much, go ahead. You got it from Walmart. <laughs> the largest piece of furniture in my room is obviously my bed. The sheets and everything and the pillows came from Walmart because, you know, we cheap over here. <laughs> the pillows are actually bamboo pillows. Apparently they help you sleep better and, you know, I tend to snore a lot, I'm not gonna lie. And so, using these, I've been getting a lot better sleep. So I suggest if you like have problems going to sleep or if you snore or whatever, uh, get a couple of bamboo pillows because they definitely do help. The calendar, again, you know, it's from Walmart because we cheap over here. Um, it's a standard whiteboard calendar. I suggest getting a whiteboard calendar so you don't have to keep buying and buying paper ones over and over every single year. On this side of the calendar, it has a cork board and it lets you put pictures and whatever you want to put up there. And so that way you don't have to like put holes in your wall. Next to that, I just have my schedule for next semester. I know it's like really early to start thinking about next semester for school, but I do it anyway because we're prepared over here. This is just my schedule for the semester. I know it's pretty long and I'm not gonna get any sleep or have any free time, but you do what you gotta do. Over here, I just have this rug that's actually a bath mat, but I use it as a rug anyway. That's my business, don't worry about it. <laughs> On this side, I just have my Birkenstocks. Yes, the Jesus sandals they have with flat-footed people such as myself. Don't worry about it again. And then this is just a random bag full of clothes that I'm gonna donate when I get the chance. <laughs> On this wall, I just have another painting that says breathe because you know, sometimes you need to remember to take time for yourself and just slow down. And so I needed something to remind me of that. And then below that, I just have a couple of bags, my regular book bag, and then a fanny pack that I use when I'm going to like pride or festivals or things of that sort. So on this side of the room, starting with this painting, yes, another painting, it just says you are enough because, you know, sometimes I forget that I'm enough. That was very depressing. Anyway, moving on. Below that, I just have a hamper, my old one, 
actually broke while I was at school. The thing I like about this is that not only can you like carry it like you can pick it up, but you can also roll it because it has wheels on the back. It just makes doing laundry like super convenient and quick. Over here is my TV. I'm currently watching Annie Elise. Go subscribe. She's great. The TV I got from Best Buy, it was about 250, but I'm pretty sure now you can get it for maybe like 150. And the TV just sits on this bookshelf from, you guessed it, Walmart, because again, we're cheap over here. It has like these four cubbies. And so in this one, we just have books that I don't read. Joking. I read, guys. Next to that, I just have some video games and controllers and batteries. And then below that, I have my camera bag and just some uh, extra binders that I don't use. And then over here, I just have my Xbox. Yes, I'm an Xbox person. PlayStation people don't come for me. It's my business. The Xbox just sits on this three bin storage from, again, you guessed it, Walmart. Guys, get into these Walmart products. Like, they last a long time. Like, I've had this for like two years now. Above that, I just keep some remotes. And then above that is just another, like, dirty pour painting that I did. And then above that, <laughs> is just my diploma. It looks different because they gave me the option to also buy a plaque diploma and my mom keeps my siblings and I's regular diploma, like a real diploma, but I wanted something for myself and so I bought this one as well. So that is it for the room. Now let's just get into the closet. So the closet is a walk-in closet. Praise God for that. I have my clothes organized by type and so it starts with short sleeves to collared shirts and then long sleeves sweaters hoodies jackets and then formal wear and then this is just my high school cap and gown below that i just have some suitcases this is the only one that's mine <laughs> college students you know when you go off to college your room becomes a storage room and so my mom and stepdad's suitcases all are in here on the walls i just have some accessories like ties and hats and whatever those things are and then on this side i just keep some belts i have them stuck to the wall using command hooks on this side of the closet i just keep my pants and so my pants are organized by type 2. it starts off from shorts and then it just moves on to like sweatpants and workout pants and then regular like jeans and then formal in the back and then like I said, my parents use this room as a storage room when I'm away at college. And so that's actually a Christmas tree. <laughs> and then on top of that, this is like a box full of old photos and awards and stuff from childhood. And so I keep that in here. And then when I like move out, I'm gonna take it with me. On the bottom is where I just keep some underwear and undershirts and then as well as socks, a sewing machine, even though I don't really know how to sew. And then that is a suit travel bag. And then these are my umbrella lights for my studio lights, but I don't really use them because I don't like how they look. But I keep them in here anyway. I probably should just throw them away. <laughs> not gonna lie. Last but not least, we just have my shoes. My shoes, again, are organized by type. And so we start off with casual shoes and then move on to like more formal shoes. And then ending that with sports and workout shoes. And that is the tour, guys. Okay, guys, so I don't know what happened to the original outro that I filmed, but I'm just gonna do it right now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what videos you wanna see next. Turn on post notifications so that you do see whenever I do post. And follow me on social media. Links will be in the description box down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.